Welcome back to the Relius Reviews. Today's movie is focused on 2021 in the Heights. And the official synopsis of this movie is a bodega owner has mixed feelings about closing his store and retiring to the Dominican Republic after inheriting his grandmother's fortune. Now, this movie right here is definitely a really good movie, in my opinion. It's extremely positive. It's extremely energetic. Like, this is a type of movie that people need to see because it's not negative. It's not sad. And like 95% of the movie, like, this is just a really good movie to see. Here is my review on the matter. What I first enjoyed about this movie would probably have to be the choreography. All of the musical segments, the dancing and everything. I thought that the choreography with this movie was done extremely well. And with each, and with each different musical segment, the choreography was different than one another. I just think that the director, John Chu, did a good job with directing and everything when it came to the choreography. What I also enjoyed about this movie was the musical segments. I felt like all the musical segments in this movie were pretty good. Some of them being done extremely well and with others just good, like not extremely over the top, but just good in my opinion. The musical segments were something different as they involved different, different things, different people. And the people that were performing the musical acts, a lot of the times they were connecting. And what I mean by connecting, like they were making sense, like the lyrics were making sense. They wasn't saying anything suspect. They wasn't saying anything extremely weird or crazy, but they were making sense in the musical segments. Everything about it was just really good. That's that was one of my favorite parts about this movie. Another pro with this movie is the cast. I think the cast itself was really good as I didn't find nobody to be cringeworthy. I didn't find anybody to be horrible or just downright awful to say the least. Anthony Ramos as Unsavi as the main protagonist. I thought that he did a really good job and everything. When it came with his musical segments, he always came out on top. He always did really well with the musical segments. I would say it's kind of hard to choose what was my favorite musical segment with this movie because there were so many and I felt like everyone just performed at their absolute best with the musical segments. Um, as for the rest of the cast, I think that everyone in the cast did a good job with the acting and as well with just the choreography and the musical segments as well. Now, some of the things I did not like about this movie would probably have to be, first and foremost, the time. Now, this movie is over two hours and 20 minutes long. Like I do, I do like, I do like long movies and everything, but I do not like movies that are that extremely long, like two hours and 50 minutes, because most of the time I would definitely, definitely lose interest unless it's a James Bond film. That is the only time I will ever accept a movie being that long as long as it's a James Bond film or Fast and the Furious, I know. But, yeah, the movie was a little bit too long for me. Like, the movie was good, but I felt like some of the scenes, maybe some of the segments should have been cut out completely or just maybe just cut it down just a few minutes. Although I didn't find... None of the musical set makes it be like that extremely long, but at the same time, yeah. Another um, pro that I didn't like about this movie would probably have to be with one of the characters. I'm not, I can't, I'm not going to say who exactly, but I would say with one of the characters and just how they met their, their how they met like their demise in this movie and everything like. This character had their own musical segment, and I thought that it was one of the best musical segments throughout the movie. And then after that, this character just this character just goes to the upper room, up upper room. Like this character just goes and everything. And the reason why I didn't like it was because it just happened in an instant. Like it just happened that fast. Like. I would have wanted something to like happen beforehand in order to like help 
us like get prepared for like what what was coming because I'll be honest, I have not seen the original movie, the original Broadway. I've never watched it, so this was something extremely new to me. But with some of the char- with one of the characters, I did not like how their story ended it just like that. Um but out of all, I felt that In the Heights is a really good movie that people should see. It's very energetic, it's very positive like i was really having a good time with this movie i was even dancing to some of the musical segments and some of the songs that people were performing and everything like in the heights is a pretty good movie in my opinion and how i would give in the heights out of five stars i would probably give in the heights four stars out of five so that is the end of my review thank you for watching please like and subscribe and comment and until next time goodbye